Hi, my name's Darren Vassey and this is my Chopped 80 series. Uh, I got into four-wheel driving about 15, 20 years ago. I, I love building cars. I've always had a passion for building cars. As a young bloke, I always loved making things. I remember when I was 12 years old, I, I bought a, um, or acquired just a, a BMX bike. I made this um, trailer to go behind it. It looked like a basketball board laid on its back and um, you basically just lift a 12 foot tinny on top of it, spend our day in the creek and come back, put it back on and ride it home. Yeah, I've been making things since uh, quite a young age. Having something that no one else has got, you know, it's, uh, it's very hard to do these days because a lot of things have been thought of before, but uh, absolutely, absolutely love doing something that someone hasn't done before. I've owned patrols, I've had a Hilux. I just like the way the A-Series drives, the way it feels, the way it gear shifts, the way it clutch feels. They last quite a while if they're not abused. The build took about six months. It, uh, like I said, it was a straight car when it came, that's why I bought the car. The first thing I did was I strapped it down and I cut the rear off. I couldn't wait to do that, just to see what it was going to look like. When you cut it off, you sort of think, geez, have I done the right thing? That was probably the most part I enjoyed, was cutting that rear end off. So we pulled the um, petrol six cylinder out of it and put an LS1 in it. So it um, made it sound tough, uh, it looks tough, but it goes quite well. And it just made it all good all round car out of it. Uh, the chop, it was actually a generic wall I started with, so I built that myself. Um, I ran a tube around the edges, so it gave it that roll look and a bit more strength uh, around the back. So it's got a, a two inch suspension lift in it. It's got uh, two inches of body block. It's all Dobinson's remote, uh, remote canister shocks. It's got a front locker in it, e-locker. The hardest part would have been figuring out the, the canopy shape, size and how to make it look and being a, a cut 80 series, they never had an 80 series come out, it was a dual cab. So you, you try and, I'm trying to make it look as factory as possible. Yeah, I, I would change a couple of things. Just, I would look at maybe a small chassis extension, slightly larger canopy. Um, I've got a family, of, a family of five, so as the kids started to grow up, um, it was great when they were little, you know, you could strap them in the seat and, and have the TVs on the headrest for them and that would keep them occupied and we've um, done a couple of trips to Cape York, so it's been great. Fraser Island's a, a, a great favourite of ours, and, um, but there's been years where I've done five trips in a year, some of it without the family, which is always a, a good thing and just the boys, but it's always great to have the family on the trip. When I first started my business, um, I wanted to get into uh, use more of my trading skills and get into actually doing uh, chops and four drive modifications. Uh, we do everything from building caravans through to just fitting lockers, engine rebuilds, uh, through to chops and, um, and I've, hopefully I've turned it into something that um, I, I get to spend time with customers and build their cars as well. It's great to actually have them in and have them smile and, and laugh and talk while we're doing the job and then when they come in at the end, there's no qualms, they love what we've done and it's exactly how they want it done. Um, back a few years ago, uh, I was up Cape York with the boys and um, we were actually overlapping full drive action, uh, doing a bit up there. And uh, one of the guys took me a card and said, hey, if you want, want to put your four-wheel drive in the magazine, let us know. So um, come back and about a month later, I gave him a call and uh, lined that up and yeah, went out on a bit of a photo shoot with um, my first white 80. And uh, then a couple of years later, when I started building this one, uh, someone was watching me on Facebook through the build. I was posting a few things up. And as soon as I painted it, I got a phone call from Breno and said, hey, we want to we want to do something with your blue 80 series when you finish with it. So, um, so yeah, we finished it off in probably about six or seven weeks after that and uh, went on a trip. It made it all worth it. It's uh, for them to actually you know, grab it before I even finished it to go, hey, I love this. Um, yeah, it was, it was really good. It was a really good feeling. Um, and not long after that, uh, I'd done a 80 series build for them for um, Mick Corbin. He unfortunately suffered from cancer. Uh, he was an absolutely great guy. I actually went away on a four-wheel drive trip with him uh, last year, not long before he passed away. Four-wheel drive action see me about the build because of the 80 series experience that I, I do here. He was doing his last Cape York trip, um, which really made us drive to, to get everything in the right way that he had no drama getting up there and back and change the look of his car and give him something that he was, he was always dreaming of. Uh, when he first seen it, it um, oh look, it, it pulled heartstrings. Like he, 
who generally, generally loved it. He didn't think it was his car um, until he actually got and sat in it and got the feel of it and gone, this is my car. And oh yeah, it was, uh, it was tears all around. I'm not so much of a four-wheel drive park man, you know, going and just having a play. There's always a destination to go to. And uh, hey, it's always the adventure that, uh, that pulls you there. You know, and uh, totally enjoy it.